whenever I walk into this building. Um, that's what I'm thinking of today. That's what I'll be thinking of. Uh, you know, if I'm still coaching in 10 years, I'll, I'll walk in here thinking about those, those games because it was a, a special rivalry, a historic one, uh, unbelievable basketball, incredible level of play, and uh, yeah, how could you ever, how could you ever forget that? Steve, with all that, that winning that happened during that time, do you have any particular favorite moments with that, just in the immediate aftermath? I, I think uh, the first championship will always um, stand out for me just because we had never done it before. And, and um, you know, watching the, the seconds tick away, uh, JR made like three crazy threes in the final couple minutes of that game. They cut it from about 12 or 13 to four, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> so we were, you know, we were right there, and all of a sudden it was uh, it was tenuous. And uh, but you know, when the seconds ticked off, and uh, we realized, you know, we had we had done it for the first time. Uh, that's that's something that lasts forever. Alfonso McKinney will be back this week. Yeah, we should talk about tonight's game. <laughs> That's the one that matters now. Uh, we're excited to have uh, Zoe back. Uh, he's missed a lot of games, more than we anticipated. Uh, but he's healthy and ready to go, and we need his athleticism and his energy, and we're excited to have him back. You said being out that long kind of solidifies what his role is to be, to be the, the hot spot. Of the well, he's still, rebounds. yeah, I mean, he's still uh, a very, very young player and still growing, still learning, and he'll go through some. Uh, some some trying times for sure as the season goes on, but sometimes it's not bad to take a back seat and uh, you know, get a view of what's happening on the floor and uh, you know get a reminder of what what you need to do to help your team win. Yes, Steve Alfonso's had a few games of, of shooting some threes. What do you see of his overall potential as a shooter? I think he, uh, he he can be a very good three point shooter. He's got good form. Uh, he's not shy. Uh, he gets the ball up uh, with nice rotation. He puts it on the back back of the rim. He's not short very often, which is a good sign. Um, <clears throat> and as I said, he's got a lot of confidence. So uh, he he comes out letting it go, which which tells you, you know, he thinks it's going in, and that's half the battle. You've talked about wanting to get more threes. How how much will having him back help with that? Uh, it, 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 could help, but it, I, I still think it's more about uh, our defense. Um, you know, if you look at our the way we've played the last few years, our defense has led to so many transition threes. That's a huge part of our game, and our defense has been lacking all year, and so we're not getting nearly the amount of transition shots that uh, that we used to. So it starts with better defense, um, and then we got to execute a little better in the half court. Um, and I'm confident that uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get more open looks from out there. Hey, Steve, when you look at this particular Cavs, th Cavs team this season, what sort of things do you see as far as what they what they can do well and problems they can pose for you? Well, they're, uh, they're obviously you know starting over, rebuilding, and um, you know they've got some good young talent. Sexton is a really interesting player, and you know I've, I've liked Osmond uh, the last couple of years when we've seen him. Uh, he, he does a nice job. Tristan Thompson is probably the most difficult guy to keep off the offensive glass in the whole league. Um, but it's a different team. It's a different um, cast of characters, and you know we have to be prepared for uh, for what's coming our way. And uh, we, we know we've got to continue to get better. I, mean, I thought we played one good half against Atlanta. I'd like to see us play uh, at least three good quarters tonight. Hopefully four. And how hard is it to stay kind of, obviously you guys won three of the last four championships, and this is December, and oftentimes you've been a part of championship teams too. Is there a lull that teams go through this time of year? Not saying that games like this are not significant, but is it kind of a lull that you go through midseason? I think there's a lull for every team, uh, given the nature of the 82-game schedule. Um, it generally comes to me um, after the new year. And before the All-Star break, that stretch is always uh, about a five, six-week stretch where it just feels like you've been playing forever and you've got uh, miles and miles to go. Um, so right now, I don't feel that that lull. I feel like we're uh, emerging as a uh, as a different 
team than we've been the last few years. Um, I feel like we've got a lot of growth ahead of us.